Hey, it's Pinkmon and welcome back to Pokemon Shield. I just realized I haven't shown you the intro yet. I actually haven't seen it until now because I haven't, like, exited the game until just now when I went to take a quick little cereal break <laughs> between recordings because my stomach started growling so loud it was kind of getting picked up in the mic. So anyways, we're just going to go meet Hop over in that train station. And by the way, I now have replaced the janky guide I was using before that was like incomplete about what Pokemon you find on each route. I have replaced it with Cerebi, which I don't know why I wasn't using Cerebi to begin with, but yeah. So I have officially caught everything except for one water type that you can catch from fishing, but it's only like a 5% chance of catching it in Route 2. And then later on when you can surf, you have a much higher chance of getting it. So I'm just going to skip it for now. Okay, so Hop's mum, not quite so fast, you two. What are you doing here, mum? <laughs> I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Gricky as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Oh, the camping thing. The camping and the curry and all that situation. <laughs> um, everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in a wild area or at a camping spot. All right. I don't know anything about that stuff. I haven't really read up on it, but... No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom, and just think how lucky you are. Mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers. <laughs> because I'm certain to be the champion next, you'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. We're off. Push us luck, not that we'll need it. Exactly. Well, you might need help. You might need luck, Hop. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Pinkmon. Come on, we're off. Motos Moto Stoke? I think that's how you say it. Um, wild Pokemon wandering about everywhere. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. All right. So, we're in Moto Stoke. <laughs> Tell me if I'm saying that wrong in the comments. I don't know how to say it. All right. Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the Wild Area Station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. <laughs> What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. Brilliant? This Wild Area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. I keep hearing things about the Wild Area, like people posting about it, but I don't really know what it is yet, so I'm about to find out, I guess. You get it, don't you, Pingmon? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. What? <laughs> That's the only explanation I get. I'm sure these people will explain it. Hey, have you and Evie had a... I knew it. You've had a let's go experience with Evie, haven't you? How do you know that? What? <laughs> I hope you'll have another let's go experience with this Evie too. <gasps> no! I want to use the Evie, but I can't because I really want to use like just Galar Pokemon. Evie's my favorite though. Evie! Oh, by the way, can I just state right now for the record that I'm pissed there's no evolutions in this game? Like, what? They better give us three in the next game or I'm going to be even more pissed. Okay, so let's see what Eevee's Pokedex entry says. Thanks to its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. All right. No, we're not going to nickname you and we're going to send you to the box. Oh my god, something I've never done to an Eevee. <laughs> The Eevee I gave you is special, you know? You should definitely Dynamax it. Ugh, I should definitely, oh, I guess I would Dynamax an Eevee one time. Can you hear that bird? I always have these loud birds right outside my window. <laughs> hey, have you and Pikachu had a, oh no, I think I was mistaken, don't mind me. How do they know that? How do they know that I had let's go Eevee and not let's go Pikachu? Is that, is that just like a shield versus sword thing? <laughs> was it just a coincidence? I don't know. 
It seems like my children are giving something to people who have had Let's Go experience. But what in the world is a Let's Go experience? <laughs> well, it's a unique experience, let me tell you that. Uh, we can get you back to Wedgehurst if you like, but Motive Stoke is off the menu for now. It wouldn't be very decent of us to try to drive off those Pokemon just because we happen to want to run our train here, now would it? Well, that's very considerate of you. Um, who are you? You'll run into stronger wild Pokemon the farther you go into the wild area. If you feel like you're in a pinch during a battle, just use a Poke Doll. She gives me five of them. Well, I don't think I'm gonna need that, but okay. No matter how strong a Pokemon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually, so long as you join the gym challenge and gather the gym badges. Um, to be honest, I'm probably gonna sell those Poke Dolls. Maybe I'll keep them, because I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's harder than I'm assuming, but me eh, probably gonna end up selling them. Anything I should buy? Should I get revives? They're kind of expensive though. I guess I should have a couple on hand. We'll just grab like, ugh, they're so expensive. Let me just grab like two of them for now. I need to save my money for clothes. And I did Google about like, if you can change your eye color in this, cause I was all stressed out that I couldn't change it when I went to that first store, but yes, you can change it. So I'll just have to wait a little while to change it to green eyes and change my hair and everything. Ooh, this is pretty. Looks like a castle. Okay, the wild area. So basically this is just an area with stronger Pokemon is what I'm getting from it. Hi there, would you like to rest your Pokemon? I don't think I need to. Okay, so we have someone to heal over here. That's good to know. What do we have all around here? Um, I just like disappeared into a box. Look at that. A castle thingy. That's Motostoke way off that way, way off that way. <laughs> it's not that far. We don't even need to take the train. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, and if it isn't Sonya. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Oh my god, why? What? Maybe that's the reason Sonya's so hard on herself. Maybe her grandma is just like mean to her. That sounds rough. Uh, never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. I feel so bad for her though. What if she turns evil because everyone's freaking so hard on her? <laughs> Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I'd been thinking I should look into it so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. Okay, if she ends up on the evil team, I won't be that surprised. <laughs> Don't spoil it in the comments, but yeah. Yikes, being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. What? <laughs> oh my god, Hop. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. Uh, Hop. What cheek? <laughs> Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know? You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on opponents that strong. I really don't want to though. Eh. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There will be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? Pokemon Box Link. Uh, a device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. Okay, you can access your boxes while you're on the road. Um, add things to your party, transfer them to boxes. All right, yeah, that's useful, of course. Okay, we get the point. So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. The wild area. Okay. 
looks pretty cool. I see some berries there. Okay, still not really sure how this wild area thing works. I think it's like a special thing. It's not like a regular route. I just saw a hidden item. And then there's an onyx, of course. It's not like I missed that. I think there's another over here. Oh my god. Give me the item. <laughs> a jar of honey. There's another one. What's with all the items? Okay, another jar of honey. Um, do you think we can- did someone- a note. The large Pokemon you see wandering around in the wild area are strong. If you try battling one and it seems like you're in over your head, try to run. Run like the wind. <laughs> Let me just try to do this Onyx thing. I don't know what's going on. Okay, is this- this isn't gonna Dynamax, right? She said it was like red beams of light. No. Oh, well, this is not the best matchup. Oh, they're way higher level. Uh, well, at least I have a Pokemon with Runaway. See, you know what, Nickit? I was kind of trashing your ability, but Runaway is useful in this case. Because I just don't feel like we're going to be able to get this. We can come back to the wild area anytime, I think. So we'll be able to catch these later on when our Pokemon are a little bit stronger. But for now, we're going to avoid that because I don't need to be just getting destroyed. Another note. Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon and even the PP they need to use their moves over and over. Pokemon that have fainted and can't battle any longer will perk right up as well with a piping hot plate of curry before them. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to get to that part of the game. Alright, visit berry trees, blah blah blah. Curries made out of berries, that's such an interesting concept. Berry tree, do you want to shake it? Is a Pokemon going to fall out though? Or just berries. Orange berry. Shake it more. <laughs> a cherry berry. Shake it more. Okay, now we're getting attacked by a squirrel. Is it a stronger one or something? No, not really. We're just gonna run because I don't really care. <laughs> Did I get the berries? Oh, okay. Other Pokemon nearby took all the So basically it's like, <laughs> are you satisfied with two of them or not? <laughs> so I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here because I don't want to risk trying to battle these super strong Pokemon. Cause like what's the point? I definitely- Oh, a combi! Oh no, I hit something else. Oh, it's a Bunnelby! So not everything in this area is um, strong, I guess, because this is only level 10, so we're definitely going to catch what we can. Alright, I think it's time to throw a Pokeball. Catch this bunny. Now we have two bunnies. Ooh, what if we did a whole bunny team though? No. <laughs> Got Bunnelby. I'm not sure. I can't really find anything telling me all the Pokemon I can find in the wild area. I don't know if that's just not been updated yet. Um, let me see. It's very sensitive to danger. The sound of Corviknight's flapping will have Bunnelby digging a hole to hide underground in moments. Oops, I did not mean to do that. We're not giving this a nickname. <laughs> okay. Um, then let me get this combi. Hopefully it's a girl one. Only the females can evolve, and it is not. Should I waste my time catching it? Nah. <laughs> I only want a female one, because what's the point of a male combi? Alright. What is that? Minchino! I love Minchino and Chinchino. They're like probably a couple of the cutest Pokemon ever. So of course we're gonna catch this. Time to switch Pokemon. Nickit is a little tired now. So let's just switch to Yamper.
Okay, this baby doll eyes thing is super cute, but also super annoying because <laughs> Yamper's attack is so low right now. Um, but since it's paralyzed, we might be able to catch it anyways in its current state, so let's just go for it. Are you gonna break the streak of no Pokemon breaking out of the Pokeball, Manchino? Probably shouldn't say that. Probably gonna jinx it. Nope, we're still... we're still on a streak. <laughs> Whoa, Yamper level 10, and learned by Rookity level 11, Wooloo level 6, Nicket level 11. That was a lot of leveling up. Okay, Minchino, the Chinchilla Pokemon, they pet each other with their tails as a form of greeting. What? That's so cute! Of the two, the one whose tail is fluffier is a bit more boastful. <laughs> Okay, send her to the box, or him, I didn't see what it was. All right, I don't even know. Let's just keep looking around and catching stuff. Cause I see no guides online telling me, oh, a female one, yes! Anyways, I'm gonna catch this real quick, but I see no guides really outlining all the Pokemon you can catch in the wild area. That's probably gonna be something I'll do with post game. Um, because, let's, let's try Bulu. Because we really- uh, I probably shouldn't be using Wooloo, it's only level 6, but <laughs> I just- I really want to use Wooloo, okay? So cute! He's in Gust, alright. Yeah, see, Wooloo's- Wooloo's our baby of the team right now. Oh no, that might be too much for her. Okay, she lasted through a couple hits at least. <laughs> We're gonna have to switch out before I even throw a Pokeball. Oh, such a cutie. All right, we're gonna switch to, uh, should we try the zoo? No, it's level eight. Let's just try Rookity. Um, hopefully we won't kill this thing if we use a payback on it. I don't think it'll kill it, but it might. Um, we're gonna try. If we knock it out and then we can't find another female combi, I'm gonna be pretty mad, but. <laughs> We gotta do this. Okay, payback. Alright, come on. Evasiveness harshly fell. Don't die! Okay, good. Perfect. Let me throw a ball at this. Let's use one of these premier balls. Premier, pre premier, premier. I don't know. How do you guys say it? <laughs> I think I usually call it premier ball. Yay! Got a combi. Yeah, so in post game when I'm just like doing dex completion, I'll probably have to come back here because there's no definitive guy that I'm seeing that is gonna tell me everything I can catch here. So yeah. So combi, the tiny bee Pokemon, it ceaselessly gathers nectar from sunrise to sundown, all for the sake of Vespaquin and the swarm. And this little lady is gonna be a Vespaquin someday. Okay, we're gonna send you a box. All right, what else do we have here? This pose is just so funny. Oh, what the? Metapod, I'm not gonna catch that because we already have a Caterpie. And yeah, we don't really need this Metapod. <laughs> oh, let's take advantage of that one lady that heals your Pokemon over there. Because I don't wanna have to waste a healing item. I'm kind of stingy when it comes to that. I don't like using items unless I absolutely have to. Um, where am I? <laughs> Meetup spot, okay. Where's the lady? Oh, so this is that like gyroscope camera or whatever in the settings from the first episode. Okay, yes, heal my Pokemon. All right, let's go. Oh my God, <laughs> as I crash into the fence. Um, let's check out this area, maybe. I'm seeing a lot of Bunnelby and Combi. Oh, there's actually some trainers here we can fight. Let's do that. We have not fought a lot of trainers so far, and I'm really, like wanting to battle right now. 
This camera is kind of confusing me. <laughs> um, something's like sparkling over here though. Is that the is that the sun? I think what is that though? Big giant pink thing. Oh, this is like the Dynamax Pokemon. Um, do we want to try this? I feel like we're gonna get totally wiped out if we try to battle it though. I kind of want to try it though. Just like one time maybe. The pillars of red light you'll see in the wild area mark Pokemon dens. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens and you'll be able to battle them by investigating the den. You can start the battle on your own or get up to three other players to help you out. Well, I don't have friends so that's not going to happen. <laughs> There's a bit of energy trickling out of the den. You gained 50 W. Still don't know what the heck that means. There doesn't seem to be anything in- oh, okay. Nothing in there. Alright. I'm directionally challenged, just like Leon, undefeated champion Leon. So, not just with directions, but like, I kind of get all confused with this camera going all over the place. <laughs> so I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Whoa! Oh, why am I dodging this thing? I need it. <laughs> It's a Pidov! Do you call it Pidov or Pidov? I just say Pidov. Or is it a Pie Dove? <laughs> I don't even know actually. So let me just go in and beat it up. <laughs> the way it blankly stares as it's getting beaten up is kind of scary. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty much perfect. Good job. Ooh. Oh my god, I swear. <laughs> if I call Nick it a Ricket again, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Okay. Just a Pokeball should be fine. Yay! Got a P-Dub, P-Dub, whatever. Zigzagoon, a level nine, and he wants to learn Snarl. I mean, she. Sorry, Zigzagoon. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get rid of Sand Attack. Okay. Let's check out this Pokedex entry, the Tiny Pigeon Pokemon. It's forgetful and not very bright, but many trainers love it anyway for its friendliness and sincerity. Poor thing. <laughs> and you're going to the box. See you later. Okay. So I guess there is more stuff I can catch here that I haven't gotten yet because that could have basically proved that. There's a trainer. Um, How do I like make the camera normal. <laughs> Should I change my settings? No, I'll, I'll just deal with it. Okay, love to cook. You've come to the right place. I've got all the finest ingredients right here. Oh, packaged curry, brittle bun. No, thank you. That does not sound great. Um, <laughs> I thought he was a trainer. Okay, so there's the entrance. I'm so directionally challenged. Let's go over here. More bees. Uh, oh! <laughs> Even though we already cut a, caught a bunnel bee, there's a digger's bee. It's probably gonna be way stronger though, isn't it? Oh, it's only level 15. But I just like to evolve my own Pokemon, you know? I don't like to catch the already evolved forms, so I'm gonna skip out on that. I was just kind of curious about it. Oh, another note. Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild area. The right stick? Whenever they say, like, left stick and right stick, I'm kind of confused. Maybe I'm just dumb and not used to the switch, but it's like, what does that mean? Press the L button to look straight ahead. What the heck is the right stick? I'm so confused. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> So I've officially pressed all the buttons on this remote and nothing's like rotating the camera so I don't know what they mean by right stick, left stick, any of that. I think there's 
they're like talking about just right and left, but that kind of doesn't work if you're not playing handheld mode, so yeah. Um, anything else over here? More combies. Um, we were just over there. Let me just see something in the settings. Oh, so this is talking about Pokemon Camp. Never mind. I guess I have to just deal with this camera. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm just not used to it. I have an item here. A tiny shroom. Okay. Um. Oh no. I guess the female combi are more common in this game. Okay, so I think we're back to that dude who was trying to sell me stuff. Um, oh, a Vespa Gwyn. Sorry, but I want to evolve my own combi. Thanks. Uh, what's over here? Another Vespa Gwyn. Um, here's this thing. Should we try this? I'm just kind of like... Uh, let's see. I got 300 W. Max raid battles. Defeat a Dynamax Pokemon and you'll get a chance at catching it. Additionally, there are some rare items that you can only obtain by battling Dynamax Pokemon. When wild, Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Working together with other trainers will be key as you take on these Dynamax Pokemon together as a team of four. Um, well, I don't have anyone to invite. Um, <laughs> so that's obviously like a, a shield on, right? We're gonna switch to, do I have anything to counter that? Honestly, none of my stuff is gonna be good against this, so let's just go with Nickit. <laughs> um, don't invite others, yes, okay. Some trainers will join the battle. Are they just like NPCs? All right, we're trying our first Dynamax battle. Let's do this. Ooh, this is intense. It's a diglet. Why did I think it was a shield on? What? Alright. I have no clue what's happening. It's. It, I kind of feel like they're inspired by raid battles like um, Pokemon Go. Uh, let's just beat it up. Max strike. Whoa! This diglet's huge! Wait. We didn't die already, did we? <laughs> Alright. Oh, I think it just lowered all our speed. Okay, Martin Soul Rug used Psychic. And Porsche's Heat More used Flash Cannon. Okay. Catherine Sogoby used Draining Kiss. And Catherine can Dynamax now. Nikka is like almost gone already. Can we Dynamax? Wait a minute. Dynamax. Oh, okay. So it like has to charge up. Did we even do anything to this dude? Uh, we're gonna get beat in one hit. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to do this. Um, should I just heal and let them take care of it? Uh... Let's just see what happens if I heal up. We did not come to this battle prepared. Alright, let's see. It's using Scratch on Togepi. At least it didn't- wait, is it gonna attack everybody? No, okay. Okay. You might want to do something, like, useful, dude. Okay. So, now we're gonna try to beat it up again. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Okay. Uh, fight. Beat up. 
Oh no, we got hit with the mud slap. It's okay. Soul Rock's gonna be psychic. And we will beat up. Hit one time. Come on, Nicket. <laughs> oh, nice critical hit there. But I didn't get to Dynamax, so that's kind of lame. Jayla is weak. Throw a Pokeball. Okay. I'm gonna. What is going on? Do I have to do anything specific, or am I supposed to like do something here? Whoa. Okay. I'm like taking a million screenshots of this, by the way. <laughs> Yay! What if it doesn't work though? Do we only get one chance? Yay, we caught a giant diglet, but now it's probably normal size. <laughs> that was not as hard as I thought it would be. So we got candies. Candies? Again, like Pokemon Go. Don't know what any of these do yet, but we'll figure it out. Ooh, we got a TM. I guess you can get some pretty nice items from this. So let's check out Diglett, the mole Pokemon. It burrows through the ground at a shallow depth. It leaves raised earth in its wake, making it easy to spot. Would you like to give him a nickname? No. Oops, not adding this to my party. <laughs> Into the box you go, giant Diglett. Okay then, that was cool is so is my pokemon actually still damaged yeah it is okay i was wondering if that was going to keep the damage in in the actual game or if it was just only in the dynamax battle all right so ah where the heck am i going directionally challenge problems i'm trying to find that chick who heals up your pokemon it should be over there right All right, so we're gonna heal up. And let's just get through this wild area. Cause we've tried the Dynamax battle. I think we've got, at, well, we caught a few things here. So maybe everything you can get here. Like I said, there's no official guide telling me like what I can and can't catch here. So go away, Padov. <laughs> Let me see if there's anything in the water though. Like some fishing I could do. I guess I can't fish from this height. Should I just do a whole bunch of Dynamax battles? I don't know. I feel like some of them are gonna be harder than others though. I'll have to look into that more. Ooh! Wait, but I don't have a Ninkata. I wonder if we can get Ninkatas here. Is this just a bee place? It's just full of bees? But I kinda wanna catch Ninjask. No, I'm not gonna. No, I am. <laughs> Cause sometimes you can catch the evolved forms of Pokemon, but not the lower evolution. And then you have to breed. This could be one of those cases. So just in case that's what it is, we are going to catch this. And if I end up finding an Inkata later, I'll just get rid of this Ninjask. I don't know why, I just, I really like Pokemon that I have evolved myself. I don't like just catching them already evolved. It's level 15. Oh no, Nicket! Holding on with one freaking hit point. Okay. Um, didn't realize that <laughs> uh, we're kind of like struggling here. So let's use Score Bunny. Haven't used him in a while actually. Okay. Whoa! That's Scratch. Just do a tackle. Agility. Ugh, this is like taking forever. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna quick attack. Ugh, probably one more should be good. False swipe. Is that what he used on my um, Nicket? Because in that case, of course it was only left with one HP. Okay, oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Our first fainting of the series. <laughs> Score bunny from a freaking ninja -esque. Um, We're gonna send out Rookity. And I think we should be able to catch it by now. I'm not too worried about it. Um, we might have to use a great ball, but that would be pretty pathetic to waste a great ball on this thing. <laughs> so let's just go for the Pokeball. He might also break our streak of never having a Pokemon break out of the ball. Yep. Okay, this Ninjask is the one. Okay, um, should we try a great ball? I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm highly offended right now. Are we gonna need Yamper to come paralyze this thing? I think we should. That scratch is like crazy. What? Ball fit. That's the first time I've seen Yamper's ability. <laughs> We're gonna nuzzle it. Hopefully it'll get paralyzed and we can catch it. Finally. And it's super effective. Okay. Let's go for the ball now. Hopefully it works or Yamper's gonna get um, basically destroyed by this ninja scratch. Oh my god! Oh no! Okay, good. It was paralyzed so it couldn't move. Let's use the premier ball. Not that it, it doesn't make any difference. It's the same exact thing as a Pokeball. It just looks different, but ugh, it didn't work. All right. I've wasted so many balls on this thing. I just kind of like need to catch it at this point. Ugh, but I really don't want to. I kind of want to run, but <laughs> after wasting so many, I feel like I have to get it. All right, you know what? I think I have to set a limit because if I waste too many balls on this, I'm gonna be really mad at myself. So let's say if we don't catch it in three more, then we're gonna run away. One. Two. Oh my God, screw you, Ninja. Don't fall swipe my yamper. All right. This is the last one. And if I just wasted all these balls and I don't end up getting this thing, I'm gonna be so mad. Uh, screw it, I'm done. But its speed is so high, what if we can't run away? Oh my god! <laughs> no! Uh, okay, poor Yamper. This ninja ask, I'm so mad at it. Screw it, we're leaving. I'm, it's not, the thing is it's not worth it. Oh, we couldn't, we couldn't run away, okay. Well, I know Nicket can, has run away, but is it gonna attack me before I can run away? I don't, I don't think so, right? Okay, good. <sighs> well, that was mildly aggravating. Let me go heal. And I think I'm gonna end this part here. All we really did was catch some more stuff um, And we also tried the Dynamax battle, so that's good in the next part We're going to continue going through this area. Maybe do a couple more Dynamax battles. I don't know um, and then Finally make it to that. What was the city called? like Moto Stoke or something like that. Where am I? I'm so directionally challenged. <laughs> Where am I? Anyways, while I like just run around trying to find where the heck I am, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye! I finally freaking found it. Oh my god, that took so long. <laughs>